Hello, my name's Keith Harkin. I'm from Derry City in uh, Northern Ireland. So see the leaves fall to the ground And see them lying all around Still I can't see you I've been playing music since I was 11 years old. I've been playing guitar. I've been singing since I was four year old. I'm now, uh, sing I now sing in the show called Celtic Thunder, which has done pretty well around the States. We're on our fourth tour at the moment. We're actually here in Minneapolis tonight. We're doing a matinee show. Our bus broke down last night, so I haven't got much sleep, but it's all good. We're gonna keep on rocking. <laughs> I was in London recording and when I came home my dad said would you go and do this audition and for Celtic Thunder and I was like no chance, it wasn't really my thing to audition and uh, so my dad paid for my taxi to the audition and here I am sitting here today with a lovely McPherson guitar in my hand and uh, I'm on tour for the fourth time around America. McPherson Guitars contacted uh, the producer of Celtic Thunder, Sharon Brown and Sharon said to me, this guitar company, McPherson, um, would love to endorse your guitar, sponsor your guitar. And I thought, amazing, let me let me see. And I checked them out on the internet just by looking at them and hearing them on YouTube and stuff. And I was like, yo, give me one of those. <laughs> so one came to uh, the show in Seattle. It wasn't a show, I think we were doing like a PBS station visit. And a guitar came up to the room and I took it out. And first of all, the case was like nothing I ever seen. The case was amazing. They start off with and I opened the case and the green velvet was in the background. And I seen the guitar and I was just like, before I even picked it up, I phoned my dad. I was like, oh, you want to see the guitar? I can send daddy, I can send me this amazing guitar. They sent me this guitar. And then I picked it up and played it. And I, I played it for about an hour and a half. And Sharon ended up having, they kicked me out of her, kicked me out of her hotel room because I just sat in the ear sort of glued to the side of the guitar and playing it and listening to how it tuned. Because I play a lot of open tunings. I play like a lot of G and D and stuff, mainly more so than concert now. So it was amazing and it holds all, it held all the tunings great. And, I was over the moon, to say the least, and I still am having the guitar. I have to say, every time that I bring my guitar out at a festival or any gig, it blows everyone away. I mean, first of all, when no one's in the bar, it blows the sound man away, he plugs it in, and it's just like, where has this guitar come from? Because they really haven't heard much about them. But I mean, they're, they're an amazing guitar. I gig out with mine a lot. I play with like, I just on a festival in the summer with a six piece band and everybody else was playing drums and electric guitar and keys and I was on the acoustic for a few of the songs and I listened back to the recording and on the recording, the live recording, this guitar just drones through everything on the stage so they're an amazing guitar. No one's perfect, I'm going to start off by saying that, nobody's perfect and we all make mistakes and I think it's mistakes that make things sometimes things beautiful. I mean, if you buy an old guitar, it's maybe a scratch or something on it you like, and stuff like that makes things like you like them more. So I'm just going to start off by saying that. But a few nights on the road, I mean, you do get tired and you think you're doing great on stage, and then you realise that you're singing like completely the wrong verse to a song or like the wrong song on stage, and the band's trying to play something else. I mean, there was one night I tried to, uh, from the very first show, called Act One for Celtic Thunder. I, I, there's a song I do called The Mountains of Morn, and my dad dad taught me it. And I, I went out the very first line and the, every word of the, so the song completely left my mind and the song's four minutes long. So I actually had a, and it's the kind of show that everything is on time, everything has to keep going, the show must go on. So I had to make up four minutes of lyrics on the spot in front of about 4,000 people, which wasn't nice at all. It was absolutely horrifying. And no matter how good you are at writing songs or no matter how good you think you are, it's extremely hard when you've got four minutes on the spot and you can't take a breather for one second. And the worst about that is, that one song that I was doing was all on the guitar and it was just all, it was really simple and it was just really like, so like nothing covered me and I had to do the whole thing with myself. The sweat was just running down my face the whole way through it. So no one's perfect. <laughs> oh. 